Guys, here a few weeks ago, Savannah over at Rosecraft, Swags, she sent me some knives. Well, she sent me one of her designs called the Barra, B-A-R-R-A. -R -R -A. And uh, I love this. This thing is amazing. I wish I'd put it in my pocket sooner. Um, and stand by because there is a retraction about something at the very end of this video. I retract a statement about this knife. So let's turn it around and take a look at it from above. So like I said in the intro, guys, I have been really impressed with this little knife today. This is an absolute scalpel. This is the Rosecraft Knives Barra. And this was designed by Savannah. Savannah sent this to me. Now, in all transparency, this came directly from Savannah Swags over at Rosecraft. So this is probably the best one she could find. But I got news for you. This thing is so good. Um, it's got a very unique look to it. Multi tool here on the back. You got a little bit of a pry bar, bottle opener, hex head in there. So if you needed to, you could tighten down something if it was that exact hex size. It is a liner lock. ARPM 9 steel uh, with blue G10 handles. I'm typically not a fan of blue on a knife, but this isn't bad. It's not a bad look. This thing has got a very, very comfortable grip. You've got that forward finger choil there. Nice sharpening choil. It could have, we'll talk about that in a minute. It's got, it's got a good sharpening choil. Thumb stud opener only. And the action on it's really good. It does have an ambidextrous pocket clip. Now, I've only had this in pocket for about four or five hours, but I did cut up a lot of cardboard because it's recycling day. So I cut up a bunch of cardboard with this and I was really impressed with how well it cut. This is a pretty narrow blade, but they've used some decent, I'm sorry, Things garbage. It's a fairly narrow blade and they've gotten it nice and thin behind the edge, but they didn't skimp on blade stock thickness. So what they did was they just went with a very full flat grind on this coming up. And I have to say, this is another one of those knives. When I see a plunge that's at the angle like that, at angled plunge, typically they come back behind the edge really nicely and thin. I don't know what it is about. It's just, I think it's just something I've noticed is that a lot of times people will do that grind and it gets them a very thin grind and then they put that plunge on it. Thumb stud access is really good. It's just right there where you're holding it. Your thumbs just pop onto it. They're nice and sharp, but not too sharp. And they're tall enough that, because this is a pretty thick handle on this, they're tall enough that you have good access. You just basically, your thumb goes where it naturally would go when you're holding the knife in your hand and just flies open. This, as I said, nice and thick and contoured. I like a thicker handle, especially on a smaller knife. Plus they've given you this palm swell here. Really, really good in hand. I love the way that feels in that handle. Um, liner lock access, decent. You got decent liner lock access on a fairly small knife. They've lowered this down just enough and removed just enough material on here to allow you to access the lock bar, but not make it feel thin. A lot of times when people take material out on this lock bar like this, it makes it feel thin and sharp. And when you put your hand on it, not the case. And like I said, smooth, smooth action on this. You cannot make it fail. Do you see that? It just flew open. I was just trying to see if I get a partial deployment. I just started to push a little bit. There we go. It is really hard to not get this to just fly open. It's a lot like the CJRB Rhea in that, in that manner. The action is just wants to fly open. Um, pocket clip on this. Nice, wide pocket clip. I like these pocket clips. They get you that deeper carry look. And you, we'll talk about that in a minute. That gets you that deeper carry feel but it's not as aggressive in the hand. It definitely feels good in hand. It's not like that pocket kit poses an issue. And for a narrow, thin knife, you can absolutely just bear down on this and do some heavy cut. I cut through a ton of cardboard with this and with it being an ARPM9, if you do get it dull, I strop this right back up to just screaming sharp on newspaper wrapped around a block of wood, which is my preferred method for that and then just it's a very unique looking very cool looking knife you've got some gr you've got some great looking pivot collars on this and then the liners on it nice solid liners there is no weight reduction and on a on a narrow knife like this it feels good because it just feels a little more substantial if they'd done weight reduction on this this knife would feel cheap and that's one of the things and then it's just a really good profile this is like a folding steak knife in your pocket, like that profile, like that type of knife profile or a pairing knife, 
Now, what I haven't done is I'm going to do some kitchen tasks with this and I'll report back when I do the full review because this is really thin and it is a knife that I think you could do camp uh, cooking tasks with. So there are a couple negatives on this knife as always. So right after you guys hear from Coffee Brand Coffee, we will talk about that. Guys, you guys know I love coffee. I even have my own personalized coffee mug. But did you know that a lot of the coffee companies out there take a lot of the money that you give them that they should be throwing back into the company to make a better product and turn it into activism dollars? Coffee Brand Coffee does not do that. They take no stance politically any direction. They take all the money that they make and try to make a better product. So if you want to support this channel and a company that I absolutely do like the fact that they don't lean either direction politically, check out Coffee Brand Coffee. There's a link down below that will save you 5% at checkout, or you can use the coupon code Crazy Sharp, all one word, capital C, capital S, Crazy Sharp, all one word. They also have cold brew coffee, teas, and cocos, freshly ground and roasted to order. So check them out, support them, and support this channel. Okay, let's talk about the elephant in the room. I like this, it's a cool idea, but I think it's just a bit too much. Um, I may see if this is removable. If not, if I decide I'm gonna keep this, I may just grind that off and just make that flush. Uh, but you may be able to just remove it. So I'm not sure, I have not asked Savannah about that yet because this is her design but there is a body screw here which should hold everything together adequately I may just be able to take this off and then just remove it I had another knife that had a little multi-tool on it and then be, the reason I'm saying that is because you have this knife you have a nice deep carry pocket clip or deeper carry pocket clip but then this stands up proud and I do find that when I sit down I'm an older guy I've put on some pounds since my retired from, from the military I'm 49 this year uh, when I sit down, that pokes me in in the in the gut a little bit. Uh, it's just a little bit problematic. So I haven't tried it yet, but I will try it. And then the only, literally the only other critique I have on this knife is I wish that the plunge was, or I'm sorry, the the Ricasso. I wish that this sharpening notch had went out maybe that far, like maybe another millimeter, just open that up so you don't get that frown on there. And you can see there is a little spot where it widens up to the point that it didn't get sharpened right there. Now, I mean, that's well back from where I'm doing any cutting. You see most of the cutting. Um, I, I like to leave some of these lines on there so I can see where I'm cutting. It's well back from that, but it's just an aesthetic thing. But this is a great little knife. Now, I have to put up a price point for this somewhere in a video because I can't remember off the top of my head and I'm, I'm trying to stay sequestered, but I know this is not an expensive knife and this thing is great so far. So let's turn this around to do some final thoughts and I'll send you out about your day. Guys, uh, we're back here just real quick before we go to the uh, outro. Um, I have to take back a negative. Uh, you can absolutely remove the part that I found bothersome and it is so much better. Great, it carries perfect. So uh, let's take that little negative back, like uh, Cinema Sins, removing one sin for awesomeness. Yeah, guys, um, with the removal of that, uh, that multi-tool at the end, it turns it into a better knife in my opinion. I already have a couple multi-tools that I carry on a regular basis. I really don't need one on my knife. And it just absolutely changes the way it feels in pocket, feels in hand. It makes it more of a deep carry pocket clip. This thing is a beast of a slicer. I can't remember how much it is, but all of these knives were really budget. I don't think there was a knife over 100 in the batch she sent me. So I will put a link to this down below over at Rosecraft so you can pick it up. If you purchase them at Rosecraft, I don't make any money on the purchase. It's not an affiliate link or anything like that. Guys, if you do want to support the channel financially, though, nice little segue, right? Uh, I got a bunch of ways. I have the coffee brand coffee. You Obviously, you saw the ad in the video. I have a link down below. It saves you 5%. Tempered Trail is also a sponsor. You can use coupon code Crazy Sharp over there. It saves you 5%. That's all one word, Crazy Sharp. Nathan's added some new boot accessories to the laces. He's doing hand-stitched wallets that are coming soon. Check out, definitely check out Tempered Trail. There's a link to his site down below as well. I've got an Amazon store down below. You can take that link, pin it to your browser, do any Amazon shopping you're gonna do with that link. It supports the channel. It doesn't cost you anything. It makes Amazon pay me, and you don't even have to put on pants to do it. And I have a membership down below, a multi-tiered membership where we all hang out in the Gilded server I've built. I do giveaways to the premium and baseline tier members in the Gilded server. And the premium guys have access to a sharpening tutorial series here on YouTube behind the paywall. Guys, that's it on this one. I love you all. Keep it clean in the comments section. It's 
If it's your birthday, happy birthday, and I'll see you in the next video.